welcome back to my channel. This video is going to be a shop my stash for the next two weeks. Um, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. First we'll go through the products that were in here. I'm going to pull some stuff out and then uh, we'll go ahead and shop my stash for new items to use in the next two weeks. I do have some really exciting new eyeshadow palettes and I'm excited to pull those in. Uh, let's get started. For powders, I did have the Laura Mercier Candle Glow Sheer Perfecting Powder in the shade is 2. I'm going to go ahead and keep this guy in here. I really like it as a finishing powder so I'm going to keep it in here. Um, I do have the Too Faced Amazing Face Skin Balancing Flexible Coverage Foundation Powder. I am going to pull it out. I, I really do like this powder um, for a foundation, like a powder foundation. I did use it one of the days to top um, this foundation, the liquid foundation, just because I felt like I needed more stain powder for this guy. Um, it wasn't the best choice, but anyways, I'm going to go ahead and pull it out and I'm also going to pull out the Clinique Even Better uh, foundation. I It's not good for a full day wear if you have oily skin, just FYI. But it's nice, it's light coverage. Um, the shade actually matched pretty well considering it was called, uh, what is it? Well, very fair. Their, their shades is horrible. Um, I would suggest you go to a store if you're gonna pick up one of those. Anyways, Next powder in here was the Ulta Beauty Finishing Powder. Lightweight matte finish. Uh, I think I used it just the one time. I don't know. I, I don't know that it kept me mad or anything. I'm going to go ahead and pull it out. And I'm also pulling out the ColourPop No Filter Setting Powder. This guy is just a little bit chunky to use all over the face. I do use it under my eye. It's okay like that. Um, but all over the face, I feel like it's a little chunky. Next, for bronzers, I did have the NARS Casino bronzer in here. Uh, I did not use this guy at all. So I'm going to go ahead and she keep, she it, keep it in here. I'm pulling out both the Butter Bronzer and the Too Faced uh, Beach Bunny Bronzer. I did use both of them. I really like both of them. Um, I'm also going to go ahead and pull out the Chocolate Soleil uh, by Too Faced. I thought I was going to put this guy in a project, but I put a different one in a project. So I'm going to pull it out. I'm ready to just stop looking at that guy. Um, next, for uh, blushes and highlighters and whatnot, I did have the Smashbox Vlada Petal Metal Highlighter. Um, this guy is more like a, a blush topper. Sometimes I could just use it as a blush and skip a highlighter altogether. Uh, it's beautiful. I love the pattern in here, but I'm going to go ahead and pull it out. I'm also going to... Uh, no, I'm keeping the Anastasia... Shoot, I didn't use this guy at all. I thought, yeah, I'm gonna have to keep this guy in here because I didn't reach for it at all. The Anastasia Blush Trio and this is Pink Passion. I did have the Too Faced in here, Love Flush, I Will Always Love You. I, this is beautiful. I did go ahead and pull it into a project. Um, so this guy is gonna be staying around. I might move it just to like my project pan area just so I can make room in here, but um, I'm working on that. Uh, Lancome, uh, what is this, dual finish highlighter in luminous gold, really pretty. I am going to go ahead and pull it out. Uh, pretty vulgar shimmering swan uh, highlighter. Again, this guy is so pretty as well and I am going to go ahead and pull it out. Why can't I open it now? Come on. Oh, okay. Uh, I am going to go ahead and pull this guy out. It's so pretty. Um, for my skin tone at this point, it's, it was just, just a little bit light, so, um, but I still used it one or two times. And then the last highlighter I had in here was the Tarte Sparkler. This guy is beautiful. And I'm going to go ahead and pull it out as well. Oh, and I did have a liquid highlighter in here, um, the Cover FX, and this is in the shade Rose Gold. I did not use this guy at all, so maybe I'll keep it in here for one more round. Alrighty, moving right along, uh, what else did I have in here? Some mascaras. I am going to keep these in here. Oh, let me go ahead and take out this uh, Naked Skin Concealer. I do really like it, but I didn't feel like it had that much coverage. So, um, not that I really need a lot of coverage under my eyes. I'm going to go ahead and pull this guy out. Uh, for eyeliners, I did have this Tarte Skinny Smolder Eyes. Um, in the shade is Onyx. I love this guy. I used it kind of like um, 
uh, a base for eyeshadow so I'll put it like on my top lash line or lid smudge it out and then I top it with the dark eyeshadow or different eyeshadow it looks really beautiful then I'm gonna go ahead and pull it out and I'm also gonna pull out the max stubborn brown eyeliner I did oh I did get some use out of this guy so I'm ready to pull it out um, I do have some project pen items in here uh, honestly I did I totally forgot that I have this Lorac eyeshadow so I am gonna go ahead and keep it in here and let's see maybe it's time I pull out the Cynthia Rowley black eyeliner I like it but I really want to finish this guy I so I've been working on it I'm gonna go ahead and pull it out um, all of my lip products are being pulled out I told you last time I'm doing a lip roulette with my friend Valerie so I pulled out or I pulled in um, I don't know how many lip products are in here but I pulled in two let's I guess I can count them four six eight ten eleven twelve thirteen so I pulled in 13 lip products I am decluttering these two but everything else is going back to my collection I did use all of them um, except this guy I didn't choose but I knew that I was kind of like not sure about it and I kind of wanted like since I pulled it in I was like I think this is gonna be a declutter I'm just gonna go ahead and declutter it um I, I didn't reach for it I didn't feel like I wanted to reach for it or anything like that so I'm gonna go ahead and declutter it I, why do I feel like there's sparkle in it is it supposed to have sparkle in it Ooh, that's actually really pretty I didn't realize it's supposed to have sparkle in it darn um um no i'm gonna go ahead and declutter it it's older in my collection this was one of the elf like back in the day when they used to have their lipsticks for one dollar this is one of them and this one i told you last time it's just so patchy it's hard to apply on the lips so i'm decluttering these and everything else is going back into my collection i did use a lot of them uh, more than once but some of them I only used like the one time and that, that 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 was the point to just get some use out of those lip products if you want swatches go ahead and check that video out my previous shop my stash video and you'll see the swatches for those um, next in here I did have the elf makeup mist and set there's barely anything in here I feel like I should keep it in here try to finish it up and get it out of my collection I did get quite a bit of use out of this cover effects blurring primer um, it wasn't blurring like silicone blurring um, so I thank God because I hate silicone primers I am gonna go ahead and pull it out and for foundations um, I pulled out the Clinique one already I am gonna go ahead and pull out the heart candy glamouflage full coverage foundation I told you I really like this guy it's very full coverage but the thing is like it's a thick foundation it's not like um a thin formula it is a thick foundation so it's like it, it's not like undetectable on the skin kind of thing no you can you can tell you're wearing makeup um, it's it's nice if you're doing any pictures or anything like that it's beautiful a very nice canvas but for everyday wear to go to work I felt like it was a bit much I'm gonna go ahead and pull it out and then the last foundation in I had in there was the Urban Decay Naked or Stay Naked Weightless Foundation I got so much use out of this guy I'm all the way down to here so I'm really happy with that I really really like it um, I am gonna go ahead and pull it out I'm not as tan anymore so I'm gonna go ahead and pull it out and then for the other setting spray I did have the Joa Selfie Ready setting spray and this is the Dewy um, I, I didn't notice that it made me it like it wasn't illuminating it was just it was okay it wasn't bad it wasn't great but it was okay I'm gonna go ahead and pull it out as well and then the last uh, few things I had in here were a couple eyeshadow palettes and one face palette uh, let's go ahead and talk about the eyeshadow palettes real quick okay the Jaclyn Hill palette I love this thing uh, I am gonna go ahead and pull it out of here um, I I didn't use every single shade in here obviously but I did get some more use out of it and I really still like the formula I'm gonna go ahead and pull it out uh, the next thing in here was the Huda Beauty Desert Dusk Palette. Honestly, I didn't get that much use out of it, so I am going to keep it in here. I mainly used, uh, I did use these shades. I did use these two, but I didn't dip into any of these. Um, I didn't use this guy. Oh, I did use this guy. So I am going to go ahead and keep it in here uh, for one more round. The Morphe Jaclyn Hill uh, Armed and Gorgeous. 
Mm, I really like this. I, I I really did. The look that I created with it, it was kind of what I was looking for. Those army green colors, um, those kind of colors. So I really like it. I'm keeping it. So there's that. And then the last palette, I finally did get some use out of this guy. And this is the Wonder Beauty Wanderer Seascape. Um, honestly, this is not my kind of palette. Like the colors in here are beautiful. I did use this color. I used this. I did use this. I used this guy, but I felt like I needed to pull into a different palette because this is just too light. I couldn't do kind of like um, an outer V definition or anything like that. And I didn't want to pull in for this blue because what I was wearing, it just would not have matched. So I had to pull into another palette in order to use this one. So I think this is going to be going into a chop chopping block um, drawer because I, I don't know if this is something I want to keep um, so there we go and lastly in here I did have the Kelly kiss by Smashbox I'm horrible I forgot that this was in here so I will be keeping it in here for another two weeks all right um, let me go ahead and uh, actually the first thing I want to do is get a get some wipes wipe my hand I did go ahead and do my roulette for my uh, lip products so I'll show you those real quick and then we'll go ahead and shop my stash for new items to use for the next two weeks all right so I went ahead and uh, swatched a couple of the lipsticks and then I'll show you the other swatches I first pulled in the wet n wild lipstick in smoking hot pink that's this one over here the next one up is Charlotte Tilbury Bitch Perfect. That's this guy over here. And then I pulled in the MAC Kinda Sexy Lipstick and that's this guy over here. I did pull in two lip crayons. The first one is NARS, uh, what is this guy called? Satin Lip Pencil. I believe this shade is supposed to be nude. I, I, I can't find the name on it anywhere, but that's this guy over here. It looks like it would be perfect, kind of like everyday uh, lip color and then right next to it is the Maybelline uh, Superstay in crayon in hustle in heels I do love this formula I do love this color and this smells amazing it smells like you just want to eat it and then the two lip liners that I pulled in I pulled in one by elf and this is it's called uh, nude natural and then this guy is shape so it's like a lip definer and shaper so one side is supposed to be kind of like uh, like a highlighting for the lip I don't know that I will be using this side but I'll definitely uh, I, I definitely reach for the other end of it which is like a lip liner kind of um, like an actual lip liner and then the last lip liner the second lip liner is by NYX and this is in the shade ever and that's this one over here um, I'm gonna go ahead clean my hand and then I'll show you the rest of the lip products that I did pull in alrighty and then the last six lip products I pulled in the first one in here is the Smashbox always on metallic matte lipstick and this is in the shade rust fun I do have a really nice window on this so I think I'm pretty close to finishing it so I might have to pull it into a project project paint to finish it um, this was the holiday set from last year I don't think they're putting anything out this year like this um, or I haven't seen anything like that from Smashbox yet uh, the next one over here this fuchsia is by wet n wild and this is the mega last liquid cat suit and the color is actually nice to fuchsia um, it felt a little goopy swatching it so I don't know if it's just starting to dry up or what I guess I'll have to see when I play with it the next two weeks and then the last liquid lipstick is this guy and this is by uh, Girlactic and this is the shade Demure I think I got this in a box of charm a while back and then the last three lip glosses that I pulled in the first one is by Charlotte Tilbury and that's the shade Candy Darling um, it, it looks so pigmented in here but it's actually not it barely shows up on my hand but I do like it um, the formula is a little bit sticky so hopefully I can tolerate it and then right next to it is the Becca glow gloss and this is in the shade lilac geode this was uh, part of the holiday set they had last year it was a little bit like a small um, highlighter pressed highlighter and this guy 
came in, the, in that set. And then the last one is by Buxom and this is one of the full on lip polishes in the shade Rose Julep. I do have a really nice variety of lip products for the next two weeks, um, or actually I should be keeping these in here for a full month. When I do my, uh, my shop my stash in the next two weeks, I'll let you know what I've used and what I haven't used. And then if I feel like any of these are like, might need to be decluttered or not. Um, first thought, I think this is the only one that I might end up decluttering, the Wet n Wild one, but so far, uh, all of those that I pulled in, I actually do like. Now, let's go ahead and shop my stash for new products to use for the next two weeks. Like I said, um, maybe this time we'll start with new makeup and then we'll move on to older makeup um, just because I want to pull in the eyeshadow palettes. Ready, you guys, uh, the first drawer in here from new makeup. Uh, let's see, what am I going to pull? in. I did pick up two new eyeshadow palettes. I finally went ahead and picked up the Anastasia Beverly Hills Jackie Aina palette and I did also pick up... I don't think that this is the palette I'm gonna pull in. I'm actually considering pulling in this guy. Um, I, I really want to play with this one. This is the Dominique Cosmetics, the new Celestial palette, um, Celestial Storm. So I'm gonna pull in this eyeshadow palette and I do have the Huda Beauty and I think I'll just pull in one of my older palettes in my collection. So this is for sure. Um, next in here, maybe I pull in... Uh, let me see. Oh, I'm definitely going to pull in the Hourglass Blush Quad. Um, so we might completely skip the blush drawer because I have this and I have the Smashbox palette and I do have uh, the trio from ABH. So I'm going to pull this guy in. And then for foundation, um, I did get a sample of the Airbrush Flawless Foundation by Charlotte Tilbury when I placed the order for the Dominique Cosmetics. This was kind of like one of the offers. So I think I'll pull this guy in and then I'll pull in one more foundation um, probably from like my older foundations. Uh, let's pull in this as a highlighter. This is a Physician's Formula uh, Mineral Glow Pearls and the shade is Champagne. Let's pull this one in. Um, let's do, how about we do this primer, the Tarte Double Duty Beauty Primer. Let's do this guy as well. Um, from new makeup and then from here I am gonna go ahead and pull in um, I sh Maybe I do this one um, Yeah, I'm gonna pull in the Kathleen lights highlighter palette um, I'm gonna pull this guy in and then I think this might be it from new makeup Actually, I am going to go ahead and pull this guy, the Natasha Denona Bronzing Glow like Highlighter um, Bronzer Duo. I'm going to pull this guy in. Okay, next for setting spray, um, I did keep one which was the e.l.f. that I'm really close to finishing. So I did keep that guy. I think I'm going to go ahead and pull in, um, I remember I really liked this one, the CoverGirl look lock up. I think I'll pull this guy in uh, from here and I think that will be it for setting sprays. Two setting sprays and I do have two in project pans so I I'm good on setting sprays. Let's go ahead and pull maybe another primer. So for primers uh, I did pull in the this Tarte Double Duty primer. I don't know. Oh it says a hydrating one so keeping that in mind um, let's do, you know, I think I want to pull this guy in. The e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. I really did like it when I tried it. Um, it was very comparable to the Tatcha and I finally put the Tatcha back in here. I was letting myself use it whenever I wanted. Put it back in here. So I'm going to go ahead and pull the e.l.f. one. Um, I do really like it. So I'm going to pull this guy in. Alrighty, you guys. So I did have, or I pulled in two eyeshadow palettes. Both of them are sort of colorful <laughs> i would say so i do want to pull in a palette that's maybe a little bit more neutral something that i could use uh every day and i think like i just want to pull this guy in like so badly oh i'm gonna pull this guy in the natasha denona gold palette yep I, I need to get some more use out of this guy so i am gonna go ahead and pull it in um, it's loved so far, but I need to play with it a little bit more. 
Um, I kind of want to pull in a fourth palette, but that will be a little too much. Um, uh, I think I will go ahead and pull in, I do want to pull in one more. I know it's a little too much, but I really want to do it. Um, I think I'm going to go way back old school, the Naked Urban Decay, um, like the first Urban Decay. I'm going to pull this guy in. I haven't used it in such a long time, so I am going to go ahead and pull it in. Um, I'll have kind of like two neutral palettes and two colorful palettes. Uh, I might have to keep some in for the next two weeks, but that's all right. Okay, let's move right along to foundation. Okay, so I did have that new foundation by Charlotte Tilbury pulled in. Um, I tried to reorganize a little bit in here. <laughs> it's a mess. Uh, let me see. I think what I'm gonna do is, um, I, I wanna pull this in. Uh, the Hollywood Flawless Filter. I just need to get some more use out of this guy. So I want to pull that guy in. And then one more foundation that I want to pull in. I think I want to pull in. Well, technically that's not a foundation. So can't count it as one. Um, I Let me see. Uh, I'm kind of losing my tan. I'm not as bright or as dark anymore. <sighs> oh do this one the mac uh studio sculpt spf 15 foundation and this is in the shade nc20 it's my lighter shade so i'm gonna go ahead and pull that guy in um and then for concealer i do want to pull in i think maybe just two concealers uh, let me go ahead and pull in this guy, the ColourPop ones. I have two of them because I need to mix both shades. So I'm gonna pull in. I'm gonna pull in the light 15. I'm not. Um, yeah, I'm gonna pull in. That, oh, that one. And then one more. I think I will go ahead and pull in. Um, let's do this next one. I'm gonna pull in the NYX HD concealer. Okay, for powders, um, the only one that I kept was the Laura Mercier powder, the, was it, yeah, the Laura Mercier, the pressed candle, candle light powder, candle, candle glow, candle something. <laughs> uh, I think I am gonna go ahead and pull in, I do wanna pull in a pressed powder to use and then a loose powder. Um, I think, let me see, I think maybe I will do, um, I'm gonna go ahead and pull in uh, the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder in the shade 10 light. I'm gonna pull that guy in. I don't know that that will be, it might be a little bit too light to use all over my face, but we'll, we'll, we'll try that guy out. And then the other one that I want to pull in, um, how about I pull in, um, this guy by Besame to set the rest of my face. Um, it's like a translucent, is it called translucent powder? Um, uh, invisible dusting powder. Okay, we'll do that one. Should I do one more just in case? No, I think that's, I, I think that's plenty. Then, um, yeah, I think that's plenty, those two powders. Um, you know which one I want to pull in? I want to pull in this guy because I've had my mind set on whether declutter or not declutter, declutter or not declutter. So I'm going to pull it in. I want to see how it's going to be. So there's that. Um, maybe we do a single shadow. Okay, so for single shadows or something from here, um, I want to pull in. My first instinct goes to this guy. Uh, I do really love that guy, but... do this one um, hypergloss eye shimmer by Victoria's Secret okay let's pull this guy in I will be skipping this drawer like the face palette drawer because I still have the one by Smashbox I did not use so I'm gonna skip this drawer let's go ahead and move on to bronzers okay so for bronzers I do have two I have the one that was in the duo in Natasha Denona and I have the NARS one so I only just want to pull in one more bronzer um, I think I will do one of these in a long time. 
I'm gonna pull in the the Essence Sun Club Matte Bronzing Powder, the one for darker skin. So I think I could still pull it off with whatever tin I have left. So I'm gonna pull just this guy in, and then that will be it for bronzer. I do have enough blushes, so we'll be skipping blushes. Maybe we'll just pull in one more highlighter. Okay, for a highlighters, uh, let's go ahead and pull in really hard choice. I think. I'm gonna pull in this guy. Um, this is Max No Flush Extra Dimension Skin Finish. I'm gonna pull this in. I haven't used it in a really, really long time. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull it in. Um, I'm gonna put everything back in the drawer and then I'll do swatches for you. I'll show you what everything looks like and I'll do swatches. Actually, let's go ahead and pull in an eyeliner. We forgot those. Um, so for eyeliner, Okay, for eyeliner, I'm gonna go with, um, I'm, let's do uh, this brown, and then I remember having like a, one of these, should I do a purple one? Um, I'm gonna do, I am gonna go ahead and do the purple one, or no, let's do this teal by Tarte. Um, it's as a right green. I'm gonna pull in those two eyeliners. Let me go ahead and put everything back and then I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, so I went ahead and put everything back into the drawer for powders. Again, I do have the Laura Mercier Candle Light Candle Candle Glow. I do have the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder. I do have the powder from Besame and this is like the Marvel collection. I have that and I do have the Tarte uh, Translucent Powder Smooth Operator. Um, I did put my primers in here and let me go ahead and do some swatches for the bronzer. Well, this is a bronzer highlight, the Natasha Denona Duo. I haven't touched this guy yet, so I'm really excited to be playing with it. Okay, it looks really nice. And then we'll do a swatch of the NARS bronzer. Um, this is Casino. It's a little bit darker. Good. And then the last bronzer in here is the Essence Sun Club Matte Bronzing Powder for darker skin. I love the formula on this guy, but come on, for darker skin, it's really not that dark. Um, so there we have that. For blushes, I do have the Anastasia Trio in here. So this is Pink Passion. My hand is a little wet. I'm excited to use these. I don't know why I forgot about them. Um, the Too Faced is in here. Again, that's in a project. And then I do have the Hourglass um, Ghost Quad in here. Uh, this, this guy, and this guy, and then this guy. This is more of a highlighter on me, I've determined. So here they all are. A little bit on the lighter side, but I'm looking forward to using these guys. Um, I do have blushes again in the Smashbox palette. Um, let me go ahead and swatch all of this right now. So. It is so beautiful. I totally forgot that that was in here. And then let me swatch the last two shades in here. Might have too many highlights. Like, might have pulled in too many highlights. Maybe I'll put back the the one by um, Kathleen Lights. So here we are. These are the two face palettes. The other two highlights in here are the MAC uh, Snow Flush Extra Dimension Highlighter. This guy is absolutely beautiful. Look at that. It's so pretty. I love this thing. And then the other one is the Physician's Formula Mineral Glow Pearl, and this is the shade Champagne. Feels a little chunky. Let's see. Oh, it's actually really nice. It's right there. And then the one that I kept from last time was the Cover FX um, Glow Drops. So since I have so many highlights, I think I'm going to go ahead and just take this guy out. I really want to use the Smashbox palette, um, but this is what it looks like. The Kathleen Lights palette, um, highlighter palettes. I am going to put it back in my new makeup drawer because I don't need that many highlights. I really want to use the one from Smashbox. 
um, I guess I could show you this guy, the cover effects drops again. So here's this guy, the liquid highlighter. So there it is. Um, a little intense. <laughs> okay, for um, concealers, I put in both the ColourPop No Filter Concealer in the shade Light 16, and I pulled in the NYX HD Concealer in CW 3.5. For eyeliners, I pulled in Tarte Skinny Smolder Eyes and the shade is Azurite Green. I plan on like using this as a smudger, again like how I use the black one. And I pulled in the Charlotte Tilbury um, Barbarella Brown. Oh, I need to sharpen this guy's formula, it's so creamy. There's that. Uh, the other liquid uh, eyeshadow or the one single eyeshadow I pulled in is by uh, Victoria's Secret. This was such a long time ago. Um, but I think it's perfect for the holidays. Look at that. It's just kind of like a gloss, eye gloss. Um, so I'm excited to play with this one. And we already swatched the lip products. So let me show you the foundations. I do have um, the Airbrush Flawless Foundation by Charlotte Tilbury. And just a side note, I picked uh, the shade 6 Warm. I don't know. I heard a lot of people um, did not, weren't very happy with the way the shades worked. Um, and then the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. I think I'll probably use this guy as a primer or as a liquid highlight. And I do have the shade 3. What shade do I have? 3. Light medium. Um, this guy is so beautiful on the skin. I have used it kind of... Uh, I use it more of a base for my foundation instead of like topping my foundation. So there's that. And I do have the MAC Studio Sculpt in NC20. Um, now for eyeshadow palettes. This is the fun part. Again, I do have the Huda Beauty one. So this is staying in from last week. And then here are the three that I'm pulling in, I'm pulling in this week. Uh, Urban Decay Naked, the original. Um, I haven't used it in such a long time. Honestly, there are a couple shades in here that I've never dipped into. So I really would like to use this guy. Um, I did also pull in the Natasha Denona Gold Palette. Um, this was quite a hefty price tag so I need to use it a little bit more. I do really really like it. I, I love the shades in here. I really love the formula. Um, I do want to use it a little bit more. And then the last palette that I pulled in was the Dominique Cosmetic Celestial Storm. This guy's absolutely beautiful. It looks so much prettier in person than, I mean it looked beautiful online but in person it looks absolutely stunning. I just got this guy. I haven't swatched any of the shades. So here you go. First time. Alrighty. I definitely want to dip into this guy. Um, electrical Amethyst. Stargaze. I do want to see this one, which is Solstice. Mystic Ice. So let's do, let's do this. Mystic Ice. Electric Amethyst, Stargaze, and Solstice. Kind of looks like the highlight from uh, MAC, doesn't it? Kind of want kind of to swatch it next to it. This is Solstice, and then this is the highlighter from MAC. Hmm. Very similar shades. <laughs> Okay, should we swatch a couple more? Let's do this one. Let's do Black Matter and let's do this one. Astrid Lust. Dark Matter. Oh. And then Astrid Lust. I'm really excited to play with this palette. This is the most colorful that I personally can handle or can do. <laughs> Um, so there you have it. This is it. This is my shop my stash for the next two weeks. I tried to speed right through it because I again I want to do those videos every two weeks. I don't want them to be too long. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any comments or any, uh, oh, I almost forgot the cover girl look lock up setting spray. I gotta put this guy in here. Um, again, if you guys have any questions, any comments, or anything like that, leave them in the comment section below. I would love to chat with you. Um, what did you think? Did I go too fast? Did you enjoy it? I didn't pull in as many products as I usually do, or I think I didn't pull in as much as I usually do. Maybe I still did. I don't know. Um, again, leave me a comment. Give this video a like if you like Shop My Stash videos, or if you want to see me do these every two weeks. 
and subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.